Monday, my people weeples. That's right. It's time for the ramble. Uh, I know I said last week, this week I might have a special guest because I had a problem with it last week. But it ain't going to happen this week either because there's something more important on my mind. There is something on my mind that's been on my mind probably for a couple of years now. But, I don't know. I just, it's kind of off the wall and it's kind of like something that people really don't say that much. But I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to champion my cause. I'm going to champion something that I've conceived in my little nugget, in my cranium up here, that's probably rotted and full of, like, moss and spiderwebs and shit, but I'm going to champion my own cause that I've had going through my head probably for two or three years now. By the way, freshly shaved. I mean, you see, you still can see the shadow. Fucking Italians, I swear to God, you know? Oh, anyway. I smell good, too. I smell really good. I got some uh, aftershave that, that my, my girlfriend got me to make me smell pretty so I don't smell so much like um, myself. So, I'm, I'm smelling pretty dope right now, which is, which is kind of put me in a mood, you know? It's putting me in a good mood. Anyway. You guys might have seen this sign before, okay? This sign basically says that uh, the death penalty is inhumane and it's it's wrong and it's, you know, we should outlaw it. We should be outlawed. Fuck no, we should not outlaw the death penalty. Are you goddamn insane? In fact, although I do agree that the death penalty is kind of relentless and pointless, it shouldn't revert to multiple life sentences because let's face facts. We as taxpayers pay to keep these fucking douchebags all happy, uh, room and board with three squares a day and, you know, learning how to read and learn, getting their GEDs and, you know, just, uh, and emailing, you know, members of the opposite sex to try to get, you know, married so they can... It's fucking pointless and stupid, alright? I'm sick of paying for these fucking douchebags, alright? I am sick and tired of goddamn fucking, you know, my hard-earned money going to taxes to fucking keep these goddamn assholes locked up behind bars. Plain and simple. And it's it's gotta stop. But there's also another problem going on. So let's get rid of this. Let's, let's get rid of that right now, okay? We're not going to even talk about this right now, okay? You might recognize our friend over here. This is a polar bear. That's right. And as anybody who knows me well enough knows that the polar bear is my Patronus. The polar bear is my power animal. All right. I love a polar bear. Now you can say that, you know, oh yeah, well the polar bear is kind of weak, you know, comparatively to like a grizzly bear. I mean, there's a lot of bear species, uh, but let's face facts, all right? Koala bears don't even really classify as a bear. I mean, they're all cute and cuddly. They're kind of like a fucking care bear, all right? And then you got, you know, your panda bears who, you know, for lack of a better terms, are fucking stupid. All right. Remember when Ling Ling went fucking uh, screw to save her species? You probably don't remember that anyway, but there was this zoo and they had this female panda bear named Ling Ling. And, uh, she, yeah, she wouldn't have sex with the male panda bear. And your species is, is going extinct, Ling Ling. Okay, it's time to fucking drop the pants, you know? Then you got the black bear, which black bear is pretty common. They're the most docile of the large breed of bears. And then you have, you know, your grizzly bear who is just like, roar, you know, like a Kodiak, roar. and they're fucking just lethal, lethal bears, all right? And they are, do they are a physical presence of dominance. But then we have the polar bear. One average weighs about 900 pounds, and the polar bear just lives in, you know, the harshest of climates. And sadly, the polar bear is on the verge of extinction because of the climate changes 
and you know the scarcity of food because that is mainly you know they can't feed their cubs and and um it's just finding food is very scarce if you ever watched anything on a polar bear it's very sad it's very you know we're having a moment here can you feel it but it, it is very sad you know a lot of people are probably expecting me to break out into a joke here or something about you know the panda bear uh being a big dominant species and it can't uh find food you know but it's the harsh reality and i'm not gonna whip out a joke because honestly um like a lot of my friends know it's like I don't, I don't take shit about polar bears i love polar bears to death and yes i do realize if i was face to face with a polar bear a polar bear would probably consume me okay i i do understand that that i would be mauled to death and fucking devoured and i'm perfectly fine with that because i'm not about to put myself in the path of a fucking polar bear all right it's just not going to happen. I would love to see a polar bear up close, though. I go to the zoo every once in a while and just chill out at the polar bear cage. It, it's, But, again, it's not the natural environment, and it's sad to see. Okay, so what have I come up with? Some of you already know where I'm going with this. Two points for you. Okay, so you have these bunch of douchebags on death row. Okay, taking up the taxpayers' dollars, learning how to read for whatever goddamn reason. They're going to get the fucking electric chair or a lethal overdose. You know? I mean, come on. Do you really know how to... You, you really have to know how to read? Do you really need your GED? Do you need to get married? No. No, you don't. Okay? You know what you did, and you know what you're going down for. Let's just face reality here and just stop and think, maybe I'm a bad person. Maybe I don't deserve it. And a lot of people will probably flame me about this and say, well, you, you don't understand about their rights. They're human beings and they have rights too. No, fuck that. My father was on death row. So don't say I don't know where I'm coming from with this. Now, that son of a bitch got what he deserved just like the rest of these assholes do. Okay, now if I could say that about my own father, hey, I could say that about anybody, okay? It doesn't change goddamn anything. Now, while I agree that it is humane to lethally overdose or electric chair anybody on death row, okay, I do not disagree that they need to die, okay? Plain and simple. These people need to be just fucking gone. Because what happens if they break out? What are, you know? What if they get out? Not that they're gonna get out of death row, but you know what I mean? It's like you wouldn't let, you wouldn't want these people on the street with you. You wouldn't want these people living in the house next to you, knowing what they've done. Okay, so don't try to champion them and say that death penalty isn't correct and they should just get like multiple life sentences and shit like that. Because you could break out of jail pretty easy comparatively to like solitary confinement and shit like that with death row. Okay, now I've been incarcerated before, all right, so I know the life inside of the pen, all right? I don't know the life inside of the death row, and I don't want to, but maybe someday, maybe someday we'll get there. Who knows? It depends, you know, how much, like, Blizzard pisses me off or, or uh, you know, just my job or whatever. Now, the only inhumane thing that I see about this is, is that these people die, and then they are put into the earth, okay? where they are basically becoming worm food and honestly I don't know many worms that are going extinct I don't know many worms that are fucking endangered species okay and I don't know you know I understand that we all become fertilizer in the end but give me a little break here alright there are other causes that we can champion to maybe fucking alleviate some of this. And I'm not talking about like those small time shit criminals. I'm talking about like your pedophiles, especially. That was mentioned by my girlfriend. Actually, she has a grave wish for this to happen to pedophiles, even though they're usually not on death row. We're talking about cannibals. We're talking about mass murderers, serial killers. We're talking about the baddest of the bad, all right? We're not talking about like petty theft, car, jacking uh anything like that drugs we're not talking about that we're talking about you know just mass murder serial killers uh, rapists um fucking 
you know, just bottom of the barrel fucking society, all right? So here's my proposal. What we do, okay, and you're going to laugh at this probably, but this is my honest opinion. What we do is we get this big old fucking 747, all right? And what we do is during uh, the coldest times of the Antarctic uh, months, when the polar bears really are starving and need for food, we load up all the people on death row. All they get is a pair of fruit looms and a pair of socks. That's all they get. And then we, we fly them over right where, you know, the polar bears cluster up and everything like that when they're getting ready to mate and, you know, they're very hungry and everything like that. And we just fucking parachute them down in big crates. That's what we do with them. Now, a pair of fruit looms and a pair of tube socks, you ain't gonna last too long in that kind of temperature, okay? First and foremost. Now, this solves one of two problems. A, it alleviates your taxpayer dollars by not having to host these fucking pieces of shit. And B, you feed an endangered species. Now, people will say, no, 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 Game Junkie. That, that doesn't work like that because, you see, they are human. Well, pretty much, I'd say, if you put an axe to somebody's fucking head 76 times, that disqualifies you as human, okay? That puts you in a whole other ballgame, all right? Now, when you do something like that, you pretty much know what you got coming. And that's the, you know, it's really not a bad, bad gig, you know? You get electrified and you get, you know, overdosed. It's not a bad way to go. It's better put a gun in your fucking mouth, honestly. I mean, you know, my dad got the chair, so, pfft, whatever, you know, and it just, it really hits home because, you know, you see all these animals dying and, and eating their cubs because they just can't get fucking food, when we got all this food just sitting in maximum security, you know, we got plenty of food hanging around, we just gotta be, you know, of the willpower and mind to give to the polar bear, uh, what it needs, and people will say, no, 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 because polar bears survive off blubber. They, you know, they survive off like harp seals and walrus, and uh, you know, just whale blubber and everything like that. Whatever they can get a hold of, they need the blubber to keep their heat up and everything like that. Well, yeah, use my fucking money to fatten these motherfuckers up, and then when you fatten the motherfuckers up, then we drop them. Maybe we won't be able to drop, like, whole planefuls of people because it will weigh you down your weight restrictions and shit like that. But, hey, we'll get enough of them over there to make an impact. I mean, Sally Strauss has been doing this shit for years over in fucking Africa and shit with rice and fucking lollipops or whatever. I mean, come on, let's get serious here for a second. Do you want these people hanging around? Do you like these people? No. If you walked up and saw these people on the street, let's say they moved in next door to you, okay? I can name off the top of my head fucking probably about 30 child molesters in where I live alone. Not in the same building, but, you know, in the general vicinity. Now, I have a two-year-old son, okay? I don't like these fucking people hanging around here. To me, they know what they did, and they need to pay for their crimes longer than a year in jail, okay? You know, even those preachers, you know, you could say uh, religiosity is, is all sacred and it's all holy and everything. What about these preachers that are touching little choir boys and shit? What about these people? We just leave this go unchecked because, you know, it's the faith. It's, you know, oh, they can't do anything wrong because it's under, you know, God's watchful eye and Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. The minute you slip your hand on the front of a fucking 12-year-old boy's pants and feel his dingle bobber, man, you're going away. You're going to Antarctica. You're going to feed one of my polar bears. Right? Plain and simple. I don't put up with shit. I don't like you. And, you know, you can say, hey, that is really inhumane. But it's not inhumane because it's, it's protecting an endangered species. Plain and simple. You stop and look at organizations like, uh, the World Wildlife Federation, WWF. And honestly, I want you guys to put the word out there that I'm doing this video, and I want you to really get in contact with the WWF because, you know, 
I want to be a spokesperson for these people. I think I'd be a good spokesperson. It's like, hey, we need to feed our polar bears. Send fucking death row inmates over there. Problem solved, right? They don't need to be fertilizer. We got enough fertilizer over here. All right? We got enough trees and shit growing up. It's good. We don't need any more bodies in the ground providing fertilizer. We don't need fucking worms breeding, crossbreeding, and everything like that. And, you know, swimming through eye holes and shit, and maggots and everything. We don't need that. We already got plenty of that. Hell, I could probably open my neighbor's apartment right now and find plenty of that. I mean, seriously. You know, what we need to do is protect the polar bear. We need to keep the species alive because when it's gone, it's gone. You guys know about the uh, the tree lobsters? You, you ever heard about it? If you haven't, Google it. Tree lobsters. It's fucking amazing. It's like they found them after like 20 years. And they've been coming back strong. You know? But the whole thing is like, there are these rats that supposedly extincted these tree lobsters. And, you know, then, then they found a clutch of them. And they've been breeding them, but now they want to excommunicate the rats. They want to kill all the rats so they can have their habitat back. I'm perfectly fine with that. I was like, fuck rats. You know how many rats are in New York? Tons of fucking rats. You want rats? Come over here and live. All right? Get the fucking rats off the island and let these goddamn innocent little tree lobsters fucking just exist. God. What is wrong with people in this world? I mean, seriously, I need to fucking have a position of power because I would change a lot of shit. Starting with a polar bear. It's completely honest, and this is the kind of shit that goes on in my head. And you can call me a sick man. You can say, oh man, that's so fucked up. How can you say something like that? But come on, seriously. How can you defend these fucking people? How can you say what they did is socially acceptable or permittable to the point where you would welcome them with open arms into your neighborhood? Because you know you wouldn't. You don't want anything to do with these people. The only reason you're comfortable with them is because they're locked up tight as a drum. But you're paying for it. You're paying for them for the right to fucking exist. And I think that's wrong. I say if we're going to spend any kind of money, fatten the motherfuckers up and ship them on over there and feed the fucking polar bears. Because personally, I'd rather have polar bears around than fucking death row inmates. Maybe I'm the only one. I'm probably not, though. Alright? So, yeah, but put the word out that, you know, I don't know, maybe somebody that watches me knows, you know, somebody in the WWF. Not the World Wrestling Federation, because, come on, what can they do? Seriously, they can't even act really that good. Well, The Rock can, but you know, that's besides the point. I'm talking about the World Wildlife Federation, okay? Tell these guys, to be like, hey, I know this guy from New York, and he's really, really got a lot of good ideas, and he's really trying to, you know, save the polar bear. And they'll be like, what? For real? Somebody's come up with a plan to, to save that species of bear? The polar bear? That's excellent. And then send him to this video. Send them to this video, and I guarantee you they will like what they see and instantly make me their chairman and say, yeah, you know, let's go through with this plan. And right there, that just alleviates a lot. I think I had another plan a long time ago about how, you know, when our garbage dumps and everything started filling up. You're going to laugh at this one, too, but filling shuttles with garbage and flying them right into the fucking sun. Oh, incinerate it all. It's like one giant incinerator, you know? This could cause other repercussions and problems, but we're not thinking about that right now. We're just thinking about incinerating all the garbage. Beautiful. Beautiful fucking plan, right? But this is how I think. A lot of some people have asked me, you know, not a lot of people, but some people have asked me, it's like, wow, what, what thought processes go on in your head? Not many. Not many. It's very simplistic and it's very barbaric, you know? Look at the gladiator pits when they used to pit men against fucking lions and shit for sport. People nowadays would call that inhumane, but back then that was fucking a good time, you know? I say, hey, save a polar bear. Look at him. He ain't cute. Well, Alright, maybe that one's not too cute. Maybe he's like, argh, he's in battle pose, but you know. I mean, come on. It's a fucking polar bear. It's an innocent creature just doing what it has to do to survive. It would eat an army of fucking, like, 30 people to survive and feed its cubs. Not because it wants a thrill ride, alright? 
like the douchebags that we want to send over there. So if you're with me, like this video, subscribe up, because I got plenty more fucking good ideas in my head. <laughs> and, uh, make sure you favorite it and share it with your friends. And uh, I hope to see you guys next week on our next ramble, which I don't even have a fucking clue what that's going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be just as equally impressive and uh, thought-provoking. But yeah, guys, let's save a polar bear. Let's get rid of some of these fucking assholes that we got in the fucking prison systems. You agree with me? Comment below. Peace. Every day I'm shuffling.